Hi folks, welcome back to the shop. Today I wanted to talk about this Vessel ball grip screwdriver. You can see here it's the model number 2200 MBH. This is a multi-bit screwdriver. Uh, it holds, uh, it comes with this bit here with it. It has a sort of shock, shock absorption there in the center and it's magnetically held in the tip. And this is a ratcheting screwdriver, so there's a ratcheting feature here where you can adjust this clip to change the direction of the ratchet. So you can see I can tighten this fastener, see the ratcheting kick in. You can also run the ratchet with your fingertips. That's really what I like about it. It's a very nice uh, feature, but it's also got this ball that can be removed. And then you have a stubby screwdriver built in with you as well. So uh, this one is not held in magnetically. It's with a ring. You can see it's a little harder to get in and out, um, but gives you that stubby feature. Pull it out of there. You can look here and see that the bits are retained with a ring that goes around the uh, tip here. So a very secure fit there. Uh, the handle itself has a hex bit in there. You can see down in there, hex bit that you can, uh, that that ratchet actually connects to. So you just pop it right back on and you're back to using the standard screwdriver. Let's take a look at the box here real quick. This is what it came in, of course. Uh, it's got Japan as the origin. Look down at the bottom here, they talk about it's got a quarter inch uh, uh, bit holder on the end uh, and they express that millimeters is 6.35 millimeters. The bit that comes with it is 1 and 3 16 uh, inches in length. If we look here, if we look here, you can see they talk about the ratcheting feature, the fact that the ball comes off for a stubby ratchet and the magnet. There's where they talk about that shock absorption that's on each side of this ball, I guess for a, like an impact driver. And this is the dimensions. If you're interested in the dimension of the screwdriver, you can freeze frame here and see it's about eight and a half inches long. On the back here, they make it clear that it's made in Japan. Uh, and that's a quick look at the box there. So nice screwdriver. It's going to take some time for me to get familiar with it and get used to it. It does have a very strong magnet. We can test that real quick. I have a regular hex bit here, you know, double ended hex, same size, quarter inch. And I can test this against uh, a 14 and one uh, Klein uh, screwdriver and we're going to see which this one also has a very strong magnet put the magnet in there and we're going to pull them apart and see which one you know which one pulls out the bit and you can see the bit stand with the vessel so the vessel has a stronger magnet hasn't compared to the mega pro mega pro has a pretty strong magnet we'll pop that in there pull these two apart and you can see the bit still sticking with the uh, vessel so very strong magnet and of course that magnets magnetism extends to the bit itself so you get you know, you have a magnetic screwdriver here where you're not having to magnetize the bits. So very nice magnet in the vessel. Now, one thing I want to take a look at is the back drag on this ratchet. You know, how much does it have? You can see I'm, the, the ratcheting action here going on right now. I'm going to put this one in uh, loosening mode right now. So it's designed to loosen a faster. I'm going to take this Mega Pro, turn the collar right, same thing, set up to where it's set to loosen. And I'm going to put them on this hex bit and we're going to see which ratchet engages. And you can see the Mega Pro ratchet ratchet action engages so it has less back drag than the vessel if i turn the vessel you see if i reach up here and start turning it i can engage this ratchet but if i go back here on the mega pro the mega pro spins so that means the mega pro has less back drag why does that matter what is how does that play out well if you set this up and let's say we're loosening this screw i loosen the screw a few times i'm engaging the ratchet but once the screw becomes loose you can see the ratcheting feature stops working go to the mega pro and we try it because it has less back drag i can keep using the ratcheting feature for longer before it doesn't work so that's why back drag is important so vessel has a fair amount of back drag more than the mega pro i'm going to put a tape on it just so you can see that that length i'm talking about yeah it's about eight and nine sixteenths you can see there where it comes up on the tape end to end and let's look here. This is how, you know, what it looks like compared to a 11 one Klein screwdriver. You can see it's a little bit longer. So um, give you an idea of, of the size of the screwdriver. How's it go with the Mega Pro or compare with the Mega Pro? Let's look and see. Mega Pro is a little bit longer. So it's not too big of a screwdriver, but for me, it definitely is going to take some getting used to. I really only have one ratcheting screwdriver. So this will be the second one I've owned. Not I like ratcheting screwdrivers, but I'm not a huge fan. I got this one because it's standard shank screwdrivers that have number two bits on them, Phillips bits, for example. 
and you'd have to buy a lot of different handles. I really just wanted to try this grip and see how I liked it. And of course I can do that with this with multiple bits. It'll fit any, you know, one inch bit. Here's a, here's a one inch bit that I have here, a quarter inch style bit, one inch long. Uh, pop that guy right in there. You know, most people have those uh, pretty handy and you can see the, uh, you know, it fits in there fine. Plenty of extension. And we can see here and take a look at how this works. Just got a couple screws here. Let's look and see how this works at driving screws. Right, and of course you can also use this as a to turn quarter inch screws. Again, turn it with your fingertips. I, I like that feature a lot. The way you can uh, spin this with this knurling here on the handle. Uh, and you're with your fingertips. I, I like that aspect of it. So let me know what you think. If you like these Vessel screwdrivers, uh, you know, I've seen them all over the internet. A lot of people talking about how much they like the ball grip style. So I thought, hey, I'm, instead of ruling it out, which I've kind of done up till now, I thought, well, I might as well get it and try it out and just see what I really think. So uh, I've just got it. It's going to take some time to get used to it. I do think it's a, a good quality tool. I really like the fact the stubby's built into this. So you know, I picked this driver because it gives you a lot of things to try out, right? I can try out the ratcheting feature. I can try different uh, bit tips so it can, you know, really get some use out of it instead of having to buy a lot of different handles. Right now, this is the one that comes with just this one bit that I'm going to put here in it, right? It comes with that bit. So, you know, it's around $25 on Amazon. I'll have a link in the description. They do sell one that has some bits with it that sells for a little bit more. That has a, a set of these style bits, different types of bits. Now, one thing I'm not crazy about with the screwdriver initially is that when you turn this ring in the direction you want to go, like let's say I turn it to where I want to tighten. So I'm going to turn this ring to the left. So I turn the ring to the left and now it's set up to tighten a screw. We can find when you're doing that, you're turning it, right? Or, or spinning this. Because you're going to the right, you can kick this ring by accident and all of a sudden the, the, the ratcheting mechanism is going the wrong direction. Same if you're going the other way. So one improvement I think they could make with this is make it so that when you turn the ring right, the screwdriver is also set up to turn right. And when you turn it left, you're also going to be turning the screwdriver this way. So make sure however you're going to be operating the handle that the ring turns that way. That way you can't bump the ring, right? So if I turn this left, let's say I want to loosen the screw, so I'm going to turn it right. That puts it in counterclockwise or loosening mode. And I start turning this, right? I turn it with my fingers, okay? Well, I don't risk, see right now when I'm turning it, I risk hitting that ring. Let's see if I have, I have. No, maybe not. Didn't in that case, but what happens is you bump that ring just a little bit and then it's on the lock position and it's just right on the verge of being pushed. And that's because your fingers are wanting to turn this thing to the left, you know. So if they reverse the way this ring would work, that would be a huge improvement to the screwdriver. So there you have it, folks. The Vessel 2200 MBH screwdriver, uh, ratcheting screwdriver. Uh, if you thought about trying out one of these ball grips, give it a try. Let me know what you think in the comments. Have you tried these? Do you like them? Uh, do you prefer a standard screwdriver? Uh, I'd like to know, uh, you know what you think of these. So, um, and with that said, uh, please remember to like and subscribe. Subscribing costs you nothing. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video.